using the ing form of a verb as a noun. Look at the first sentence. If the town hall's facade were clean, it could become a more attractive local feature. Clean. The verb is the clean. Instead of using that verb, we can use the ing form of that verb to write this sentence. The second one, the cleaning of the town hall facade could make it a more attractive local feature. So you can understand using the verb is a normal thing. Instead of using a verb, we can use the ing form of that verb as a noun. I think it is clear to you from these two sentences. Nouns with compound adjectives. A compound adjective consists of two words, usually with the hyphen between them. Compound adjectives are often used instead of relative clauses. Without using relative clauses, we can use compound adjectives. Now look at these examples or sentences. Services are run by the council were suspended during the strike of workers in the public sector, which lasted three days. Services run by the council. So we can use this noun compound adjective uh, council run services were suspended during the three day public sector strike in the second sentence art gallery which had been newly restored was reopened by the mayor newly restored art gallery was reopen by the mail. With these examples or sentences, you can understand how to use compound adjectives make new sentences with the same idea. Nouns with that clauses. The noun can be followed by a that clause to form the subject of a verb. The proposition that a bypass would solve the town's traffic problems was not accepted locally. Here, the bold part of the sentence forms the subject of the verb was not accepted. Here, the proposition is followed by a that clause that a bypass would solve the town's traffic problems. The noun plus that clause can also come in the middle or at the end of a sentence. Prices fell when the news that the bypass might be built was released. Look at the bold part of the sentence. The news is followed by the that clause. Local protest groups refuse to accept the view that new road would reduce city center traffic. The view is followed by a that clause. The following nouns are also commonly used with that clauses. Idea, hypothesis, view, proposition, likelihood, Possibility, probability, statement, news, warning, assumption, belief, claim, fact, rule, conclusion, danger, risk. Remember in a noun plus that clause, the word that should not be left out. We can't leave out that part or that. The belief situation was deteriorating was widespread among the local resident. The belief that the situation was deteriorating was widespread among local residents.
So we understand that we can't leave out the that part or that. The belief is followed by a that clause. So when you read a lot, when you write sentences, you can understand this idea very clearly. 